right, we're going to hit the handcuffs. I'm known to know a little, little, uh, a little bit about handcuffs. Usually all I have on my bench, but there's a reason why there's only those like stack top RBs in the first round, the CMCs, the Cooks, Kamara, Zeke, Henry, uh, because almost everyone else, you know, ends to be kind of like a, a running back by committee, you know, on their team. Right. And then even then you sit, you have like CMC who gets hurt or Cook will miss a year or, uh, you know, one of those things always seems to happen. So handcuffs are really important. Uh, to fantasy success. Mike, give me your number one handcuff uh, so uh, that you have in, uh, so far in 2021. My number one handcuff is going to be Salvan Ahmed. I uh, love this guy, not just because he has a similar last name, no last name to mine, uh, but I actually owned him last year. Um, we uh, In our last video, we talked a little bit about uh, Miles Gaskin and the effect that he had uh, with the Miami offense, uh, he was great. They did bring in Malcolm Brown, but having Ahmed last year and actually watching him uh, really told a story. So even going outside of the numbers, which I don't normally do much, uh, I kind of I kind of bank on the numbers most of the time, um, but the guy just passes the eye test. Like, he, he runs hard, he cuts, uh, he just, he, he looked so good out there last year. He's looked, he looked, he's looked pretty good in preseason this year. I think even with Malcolm Brown in Miami's offense, I would 100% take Salvan Ahmed uh, right behind Gaskin. I think that, um, I think that two is going to take, take a step forward this year. Uh, they have a lot more weapons than they did, than they did last year uh, in the receiving game. I think that the, the offense is going to do pretty well. Um, I just think that Ahmed is a, is a, is a home run. I got Ahmed circled um, on my list big time. Uh, but mostly because he's like way back. He's in like the tier seven in fantasy yep. pros. Uh, right there with like Marlon Mack, Justin Jackson, Malcolm Brown, Damian Williams, Sonny Michelle. Like, uh, yeah, I, I'm with you. I think Ahmed has to be a tier or two above that as far as handcuffs goes. Uh, just because I, I don't – I'm not sold that Miles Gaskin is the complete feature back. I think they're going to do a lot of mixing and matching. Um, but like I said in that, you know, our last video, Malcolm Brown does scare me a little bit. Just uh, even in preseason, like it's, I think he started the first preseason game. That's kind of a, a little bit of an alarm for me. Could just be that they don't want to show all their cards. I think a lot of coaches are doing that. Who's your uh, premier handcuff this year? <laughs> so my first guy, I'm going to go with um, Carlos Hyde. Uh, this is kind of, you know, with the, you know, recent news of Itzian going down. I probably would have had Itzian, you know, at, on this, uh, you know, as my handcuff. But, uh, you know, with him going down, you know, it kind of just moved up, you know, James Robinson up. You know, I started looking up at his stats and, you know, he, he was, he was up there, right? Wasn't he uh running back eight? What was uh, James Robinson last year? James Robinson finished RB seven. Seven. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, 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 you know, it's hard to take that away from him, but, um, you know, Carlos Hyde is a guy that, you know, it's, it's a big frame guy, you know, six, you know, six foot, two thirty pounds. He's only 30 years old. And, um, you know, and he's broken like, you know, thousand yard mark, you know, total yards like three times in his career um, when he gets a good, you know, good amount of carries. Um, I think he averaged like 4.4 yards per carry the last two seasons. So, I mean, he's no, he's no slouch. And I think what my biggest argument was, you know, him reuniting with Urban Meyer, you know, he is an Ohio State uh, running back. So it's just, I think the chemistry is there, and I think that's what uh, I think that was like my biggest push for you know the being a handcuff. You know, with Etienne going down, I think you know he has a lot of upside now. Definitely with Etienne going down. I mean, it, before that, as an RB three, I think he still had a had a shot at you know being in the mix, but especially with Etienne going down now. Yeah. I don't know. The only, thing I, the only thing I don't like is them 
him and James Robinson being kind of like the same, you know, bulky kind of running back, heavy, you know, heavy hitter. I like it if they had a, you know, pass catcher out there, change of pace kind of guy. Robinson did okay. Robinson has uh, a handcuff. Passing. Robinson goes down and Hyde is the, the number one, then, yeah, and that's what handcuffs are all about, right? Right, right. Yeah. And Hyde will probably start climbing up a little bit since Etienne just got hurt, like, yeah. you know, two, three days ago. Uh, but I thought Ahmed was a little bit um, far down there. Hyde is even further. He's uh, 64, <laughs> RB 64. He's a, so. he's a little bit of a reach, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A handcuff is a handcuff, man. Oh, yeah. He is now the number two back in that in that offense. It might get, might even get some like, might even get some like feature back type of role if they use James Robinson in the role that they wanted for Etienne. Robinson still caught you know forty plus balls last year. If if there is someone who's going to be more third down pass catching, I would imagine that would be Robinson and not Hyde, just based on Hyde's ability to kind of run you know between the tackles. But I don't know. I like it. Yeah, that definitely gives me uh, something to think about 